say. Yeah. Another Saturday. And this is the city of Marburg, one of the ancient capitals of Hesse as well. Yeah. It was on the way, so we dropped by, and now we have to search our way up to the castle. By any expenses for this drone shot here, yeah. including the CGI giants in the in the background. One side of the castle. Hmm, it's quite nice. Oh, let's come behind me. This is here. All side of the castle. Yes. And the castle gardens. You can see actually part of actual it's defense modes. Ganz, ganz tief runter. Das ist ja die Church. So, back down from the castle mountain. Yeah. Uh, once more carrying kids around. Yeah. Guck mal. Hallo. Ich hab sie nicht geleitet und ich habe nach dem Wettering. This nice dress with butterflies. You didn't touch it. We went to a castle and this is where you have to marry a princess. <laughs> Marriage, she has to go to bed with flowers or with glasses. Yeah, something like that. Boom, another just memory stones. I find them really quite important. Yeah. It's like having a connection and knowing that people have been living here in this house, have been deported, and we are murdered. So, Sunday, and what's one day? Cellar. Yeah, um, washing clothes. So, yeah, yesterday the party was quite nice. Uh, they had like a flipper machine where my son was uh, standing around all the time and playing, so that was nice for him. And yeah, I see the, see the family. But it was a long drive, like two and a half hours, one way. So. Five hours driving for me, and my wife really has uh, something in the in her throat, something sore, an infection. Went to the hospital today, and I gave her some medicine, and hopefully it will be better next week. But yeah, yeah, nothing much else happened actually. So driving around, to document it a little bit, and then partying, and uh, now Sunday, cleaning, and then later. Well, it's not so much, it's like one hour, then I have to go back to work, so let's get 
Going with the clothes because yeah, they don't wash themselves. Well, probably, maybe. Yeah, technically they do wash themselves, but yeah, they have to be folded and brought back into their places and stuff like this. And this is it always gets difficult. Yeah, actually, the whole process is difficult at our house for some reason. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think do it when it's ought to be done. So like yeah, then you have one machine go and wash it and yeah, my wife's always like hoarding the stuff and then you have like five six seven machines of clothes to wash in a row and not enough space to put the clothes to dry and uh, yeah, the dryer can't handle it and yeah it's a whole mess and then you have like six machines of clothes which you won't need to to fold and put back into place and yeah not quite sure i think like like small portions uh do work better and like like I had a big fight on on yesterday I guess because uh, well no it was on Friday because I said uh, let's launch the machine before we go to the house because the so machine is doing its work without us being present and yeah it's like like the thing when you launch it it does its thing and when you come back you can continue and not, when you come back and start the machine you cannot do anything so if this makes any sense. Yeah. See, see next week full work workout schedule. Hopefully, I won't forget my towels and stuff. It shouldn't last week. And are we able to to go on and beat that obesity some more? Because we've made quite some progress the last couple of weeks, and yeah, should keep going. So yeah, I arrived and I have to walk in. Yeah. Oh, I thought my wife spoke about it. It's not like tonsil infection or something that we got in. It really hurts a lot. And from my own experience, how bad that can go. I guess that Lambo Genie had some troubles there. Yeah, here in this in this area, they, they had actually flowers there back in the past. But. Not anymore. <coughs> it's that kind of trouble. It's always like like a covered yellow lights on. It, but yeah, there's some flowers here. Not really pretty at all. But now it's all pebbles and it's yeah, it's ugly as hell. Cannot can really fathom it. And, uh, I showed the video a while ago in my city where they did some flowers in all places and yeah. This is so such a crass difference. I think I think this community, despite the high housing prices, it's really on the on the brink of bankruptcy, and it's probably a measure to save a little bit of money there. But oh, is this the moon? Interesting. I guess it's really the moon there. Yeah. It looks like that. No, it's behind the houses. Yeah. Nice full moon uh, when I came home. But then with all the rain, no, not so much rain, but clouds. Yeah. Then, yeah, it really looks like community. Is getting low on money despite uh, having buildings going up everywhere and uh, not quite sure how uh, like like when you buy property you have to buy they pay I think about nine percent taxes I think it's this very very heavy weekend I think this is like I think the state I'm not quite sure of the state or the community I was also not sure where this money goes. It's, uh, one thing in Germany is that actually um, communities can have only very limited uh, means of tax income. So they get, for example, and if you have business in the pretty much most get most of the tax revenue from business. So it's gonna be a problem if you have like a city where everybody's living, but the business are all on the outside. So 
in the close vicinity. This can be a huge problem on some, or good strain on some communities. Uh, but they're complaining a lot here that they don't have enough business despite them. Actually, there are some companies around that uh, can quite buy it or comparatively to com compared to where I come from. They have a lot of business here. But probably not as much as they would like uh, for other communities in the areas. But um, yeah, this one stream of revenue and yeah, sometimes it's problematic. Um, uh, I guess uh, we have to hold, or we made this um, the now have a ride for a kindergarten place. So communities have to build kindergartens. All the one, this is something they're doing quite a lot here. So, like the, the lights in the background there. Uh, this is like a big kindergarten complex. Um, yeah, building quite a lot of industrial garden. I think they have to rebuild the, the school here, the local one, which is quite expensive. So, yeah, this is spent money, but yeah, it's not lacking, lacking on other. Other place like on the big lake, robot is going here to to spend a good time in the summer. Definitely really hard time getting it cleaned up and I remember when drawing there in the morning like like first day of school vacation it was looking like uh, yeah. can't even describe it. So. Could probably refinance the city just by all the bottles they can pick up there. They get quite a lot of money in Germany, but yeah, uh, enough version here. Yeah, really, I was since I started Pokemon and walked a little bit more around the area. Really feeling this uh, it's not the best of communities, and I'm quite glad I didn't move my family here. Oh, well. Going well, and like, yeah, very structurally, always problematic and it's, on the other hand like you have, you have yeah, very many low-class housing and stuff and it's expensive as fuck so. yeah. it's really yeah, we, we went I think it was I'm not quite sure if it was the, the most expensive community in Germany or the fourth most expensive at least by far the most expensive small community in Germany due to the near by big cities and everybody moving here because it's supposedly cheap yes. so. So. Uh. up and down up and down but yeah if to hurry to work Next day, I'm really feeling yesterday's workout it was really hard. I had a little bit of a sore throat yesterday, I was quite worried, but it seems to be much better today. So, probably didn't catch whatever my wife is carrying around and saying, Lucky me. So here we have another example how Bavaria deals with its history because uh, the stepping stones I like to show um, they don't have them here at least not in Munich because they um, and here yeah we have this this uh, monument and when you walk by it you can't see what it's for so you have the inscription I think they could say they put it on the wrong way around so this is a memorial for the for the KZ Dachau concentration camp and in the in April 1945 um, the last last inhabitants um, were like like about 9,000 people were driven together and the they were sent onto a dead march uh, into farther southern Bavaria I think so and they walked along here, I think 9,000 went out and about 1,000 of them died in that march. 
is uh, only short distance. And yeah, it's so like yeah, I, Pokemon Go showed me what it is because when you walk by, you can't can't really you probably can imagine something has something to do with the Holocaust or something, but uh, there's nothing here. So really, only if you park there, you can see it. And I never I, I never knew what it was. It was just Pokemon Go showing me what the thing actually is. So it's a band she to set, but yeah. This is like like how Bavaria deals with the past in many instances for me. So, like no stepping stones in Munich because they don't fit in with the with the cobblestones they use or something like some bullshit like that. So, yeah, it's really it's really sad image. I'm not quite sure. Maybe the the maybe the memorial put were put there before the road, but I I don't think so. Wednesday. Still raining. Still, still, uh, kind of. Yeah, hopefully, don't get a cold. But yeah, this week, I really have some, some pain in my body from the workouts. Well, let's, see. let's see how today treats me. Uh, yeah. I'm still feeling, still, uh, my nose is quite closed up, but it's better in the morning, so it was a problem this night, I couldn't sleep quite well, but now I'm feeling about okay, not great, but okay. Friday, it's almost over. I did substantially overeat yesterday, so yeah. but I think the cold is almost gone. So at least there's that. Bitte links aussteigen.